Hey, my friends, it's your friend Kevin. I'm here with my friend Freddie the Teddy, Patrick the Bear, and this is your card of the day. All right, so we are using Angels and Auras Oracle deck. Brand new deck came out uh, Halloween by Radley Valentine and Dougal Frazier. Uh, and I have pulled the um, card of the week last Sunday. It's the High Priestess. This is from Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot deck with Archangel Haniel. The information, well, this card influences this card and all of this. So all week long, Archangel Haniel has been suggesting that we meditate 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 go inward to find our answers on the outward listen to the intuition listen to what your gut feeling is telling you listen to all the epiphanies that are coming through her also have patience consider carefully what you want before you act on anything that's doubly important there's a lot of energy around. And yesterday I was listening to, uh, for I don't know how many times I've listened to this book. Um, I like audio books. It gives me something to listen to in the car. Uh, Law of Attraction, all about abundance and, 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 and achieving it. And it was really saying everything is vibrational. And whatever we vibrate to, uh, we attract. Uh, that includes the stuff that we typically don't want. All right, so the isms, I'm going to bring the same one out again. The world is not broken. I am perfectly lined up. This is coming up again for me this morning uh, in my meditation because there is a lot of guff. I call it guff, goopy nonsense that says, this is terrible, that's terrible, this is terrible, that's terrible. Yes, there are things that are broken. There are systems that are broken. There are organizations that are broken or seem broken. But when there is a breakdown of anything, there is a breakthrough from it. We are the pioneers of the breakthrough brigade. That's what I want to say. You're perfectly lined up. So when you hear these stories, these situations about this one, that one, the other one, understand it's just news. It is just news. You know what? It is just news. I also put in here, I believe in my own magic. I lovingly speak positive words into reality. Now, this is not one of mine. This I wrote down from a class I did with Radley Valentine. He's coming out with a set of um, affirmation cards, I believe. This was back early in the summer, so we don't know whether that's true or not, but he said he's planning on it, working on it. I don't know if they're where it is with that, but I don't want to claim the original quote on this because I'm thinking this will be part of the card. So let's get right to the card of the day. Enough waffle. Yes, thank you, Gertrude. Hmm. Great Father in the sky, loving Mother in the earth, angels, ancestors, those who have gone before, light workers and beings from all four corners and all realms, I welcome you to this space and give thanks to be your messenger. Set the intention to see, to feel, to hear, and to know your sacred words and to convey a message in such a way that it enlightens, inspires, and heals everyone who comes. So be it, so shall it be. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna pull the card straight from the top. This one right here. And once again, can't make this up. We have our angels watching over us supported, protected, loved, encouraged, all of those things. I almost want to say this card popped up and you all saw me shuffle. Um, yesterday when I had the snafu with this microphone, but interestingly enough that they are around always. Um, just give me a minute, a second to pull in this information to see okay angels are watching over us is there something that we need to know something that we're missing that we are not really paying attention to they're saying to me to look out at all of what is occurring 
and see, oh, I got goosebumps, and see the magic that truly is among the people. You have a divine opportunity, I'm talking to you who's listening, in order to shift the shape of what's happening. You have the divine opportunity to know that your angels are creating a friendship membrane around you, uh, almost as if it's a force field. And I'm going to suggest that you surround yourself with what you believe is the colors. Now, in this particular card, we have a gorgeous aqua marine blue, and we have a beautiful fuchsia pink, and we have this lovely, lovely, almost chartreuse lemony color. You can choose what color you see, and that could be, you know, bright flame orange, which is a lovely color for creation. It's a lovely color. It's, it's not exactly the base color that to me looks like burnt umber. It's a deep, deep claret red, a deep earthy red. But the color of orange, the crush, that beautiful, beautiful, and you make it as bright as you want. That's your uh, reproductive area, creative area. Uh, not the basal chakra, I forgot what they call that now, but uh, it'll come to me. You can also look at your solar plexus, that sunshine yellow gold, which is where Uriel lives, the gut feelings, the feelings of peace and tranquility, where you feel your emotions in your gut feeling. You can look at the brightest colors of green around your heart and picture that color just emanating from the center of your chest, which is not just where your heart muscle lives, but the but the deep emotions that you feel moving on up into your throat with the blues and into your facial areas, which is the kind of the lovely violets, and then you know, top of your head, the pale violets and silvery color. I'm just using these examples for you to follow when you are bringing in these angels. Find time today, they're suggesting that you connect with your spirit guides and connect with your guardian angels who are with you all the time, who love you. Particularly if you are one who is feeling frustrated. Um, oh, more goosebumps. Here comes the messages. Um, there might be some erratic behavior happening. You may have some, some disagreements. Um, I want to go to this camera so you can see me. Um, uh, form alliances and get connected to the loving, kind, caring people that embrace you, that hug you, that want to be around you, that love your energy and bathe in that. Um, and I don't know why I'm being led or guided to say these things. Some of you in the comments on YouTube are fantastic. Um, and I've got some, no, I'm not going to say anything. I was guided not to say anything this morning. I did start something, um, something that I think is going to be pretty huge. Um, has to do with this group of people in the YouTube channel that I think is forming this lovely little network. And that's as far as I'm going. I got to talk to my people, not those people, but the people here <laughs> about what I should do next. Um, all right, I got distracted, sorry. Haniel is showing me a picture of pulling down the light. Uh, and it looks like one of these, you know, sometimes when you pull the light down, it stays there and you pull it and it goes back up. It's like that. She's suggesting you pull down the light beside you and around you, a like a halo, and you bring in visually, um, you want to call them angels, spirit guides. What she's saying is, if they are even ascended ones who've left their body and are still in spirit, pull them around you. Uh, and that can include your pets. 
uh, because this is love and this is, is divine love. And it is this divine love and this divine network, this divine matrix of people that actually help to raise the vibration. And this is why these guardian angels have come. Angels are watching over you. They're seeing what you're seeing and they're feeling what you're feeling. What they're wanting you to know, and what they're wanting you to do with this is to bring that rainbow color in. Uh, imagine and visualize and do your meditations to where you get into that deep, relaxing alpha state of pure originality, pure creativity, pure ultra. I mean, that is where the magic is. It is in vibrating with what you see, what you feel and what you want to create. Um, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Girl, right, Gertrude is saying, don't make it too complicated, dear. <laughs> She's right. Sometimes I swear this morning I'm asking, I'm going off topic. Uh, I know, I know. She's, she's, she's saying, get off with it, get off with it. <laughs> um, oh my Lord. Uh, this morning I'm meditating. I'm saying thank you, Gertrude, for being around and for giving me love and giving me light and giving me joy and lifting it up. And the other day she introduced me to another female type energy that she calls Beatrice. And Beatrice is, in when I saw Beatrice, uh, she's tall. It reminded me very much of B. Arthur when she was being... Um, Dorothy Spornak. Oh, I've got goosebumps. So I know this is Beatrice when I get these things. She's kind of like that. Uh, very tall, very stoic, very um, um, scholarly. And it's interesting to me that Gertrude should be just this wonderful, fun, light, um, just all over the place, magical, but quite off the wall. And Beatrice is just very um, stoic and, and, and wise and still loving, still kind. But one of those ones that you go to when you want that sage advice and they're like, well, now listen, this is where, <laughs> this is where. Mm -hmm. So it's almost as if you've got two ends of the bookends. Um, there is another one. There's three of them. It's like the trilogy of, of spirit guides here. And I don't know why I want to figure out what they're doing here and what they want to say because oftentimes when I get these really strong visuals of these energies uh it's telling me something or they are someone or they want something for me to know um I'm going off topic so Gertrude and Beatrice just a minute um I want to see if there's anything I, she, she's still like wrap it up wrap it up <laughs> wrap it up wrap it up all right i think that got my message i need to wrap it up listen i love you all so very much i'm not going to keep this a secret anymore i got concerned that if i blurt this out i'm going to have to do something with it but i'm going to blurt it out this morning in my creativity i i so love all your comments i so love all of you and i was trying to find a way to connect everybody and the word network came to mind that this is a lovely well the first word that came to mind was neighborhood and i'm like oh it is, does feel like a little neighborhood you know there is uh, all of my friends that i know that i've met and then there's other friends that come and every day they comment on things and it's a bit like going around to this one's house and that one's house and this one's house and that one's house and starting this whole little neighborhood so the first thing was it's a bit reminded me of you remember back in the well some of you may not way back when i first started doing readings i joined Dion Warwick's Psychic Friends Network. And that's what it felt like. It felt like a psychic friends neighborhood. But then that felt too convoluted and too crazy. So I pondered and said, I like this idea. Give me more, give me more, give me more. And we, we, I say we, all these, came up with Divine Friends Network. So I go typing into the GoDaddy and it's a domain name, which this morning, I bought it. I don't know why I bought it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if it's a website. But if you go to 
through www.divinefriendsnetwork.com, uh, you'll see a launch page uh, launching soon. What is going to launch? I don't know. What does it look like? I could not tell you. Uh, I have no clue. But I'm sure somewhere in these comments, somebody's going to pop up with what do we do with this? Where do we go with this? But more importantly, do you even want to? All right, my friends, that's it for me. That's it for now. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.